Today is a hopeful day for so many families traumatized uh, by police violence in this country. Dr. Tiffany Crutcher is talking about the guilty verdict announced in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. The jury reached its verdict after more than nine hours of deliberation. The murder of George Floyd triggered worldwide protests, violence, and a re-examination of racism and policing in the U.S. It's something that Tiffany Crutcher has been calling for since the shooting death of her brother, Terrence Crutcher, back in 2016. Today, several members of Tulsa's community gathered to speak out about the impact this verdict has on our nation. We never have the courage to do the difficult thing. Today, Minneapolis did the difficult thing. They stood up for the humanity of all of us. And that is why we are renewing the call for independent oversight. We are renewing the call for common sense police reform measures. We are renewing the call to invest in mental health so that we are protecting the future of our citizens not figuring out different ways that we can lock them up. Crutcher also said while this verdict is just a small measure of justice and a step in the right direction, she will not stop fighting for police reform, whether it be in the city of Tulsa or across the nation, pushing for policy change and holding police officers accountable when they violate citizens' constitutional rights. We can never get George Black back. We'll never get him back. But I just pray that this verdict and the atonement and the restitution brings them just a little bit of solace. And uh, again, we're going to embrace this moment, but we understand that this is a marathon and uh, we still have work to do. So we're so happy for them in this moment. Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum posted this on his Facebook page saying, I have yet to talk with a police officer who wasn't disgusted by Derek Chauvin's conduct in the video depicting the murder of George Floyd. I also know that good police officers, those who uphold the highest standards for their profession in an incredibly difficult time, want bad police officers held accountable. Today's verdict is a reminder that our justice system works and that accountability will be rendered for those who betray that sacred trust between guardians and the citizens they protect.